Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Obviously things are looking a little different and I have one thing to say and that is I'm sorry. Okay, but in all honesty, I'm really sorry. I just wanted to say I already filmed this video last weekend. I filmed a couple of videos in fact last weekend. And I clearly have a new setup here, everything looks a little different, and I just did a really bad job of trying to figure it out last weekend. Just the autofocus was horrible on my last video, and I'm just really bummed. I know it's been like two weeks since I posted, so please, please forgive me. I hope that you can enjoy this video. I almost never come at you at the beginning with the bare face, but I thought today, let's try it. <laughs> and uh, you can see the end results at the end. Yeah, anyways. So this video today is how I would do my makeup if I were getting married now. I got married almost three years ago and I did a video where I showed what I did for my makeup uh, a couple of weeks ago. So if you have not seen it, I will link it down below. It will also probably be in an info card right up here. So you can check that out there. It was really fun doing that video. I put up pictures that I had that I had pictures of my wedding, like pictures that had been taken throughout the day. I put those up while I was doing makeup. So if you want to see any of that, check it out. But I'm feeling um, really uncomfortable because my face is not looking so hot today. So let's just go ahead and get right on into this video. I need to put my hair back in some sort of little contraption. It's funny because like the lighting makes my roots look so much darker than they actually are. I don't know why it does that, but like it makes them look like almost black, where in real life my roots are like the lightest brown slash darkest blonde color ever. Okay, so the first thing I would obviously do is prime. Um, the primer I would use 100% hands down is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is my favorite primer. And I'm just going to take it on my hand, spread it throughout my face. Obviously you wanna make sure that you have like the best skincare down, like you did your whole skincare routine a couple of about a week before do some masks and then the night before do some masks but not extraction masks because you don't want to bring any of that stuff out the night before obviously and then i would also go in with the smashbox photo finish primer water if i had a good like mattifying primer i would use that in my on my nose and maybe a little bit on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead i don't currently have a mattifying primer that's good because i don't have oily skin I have very dry skin but for the day I know my nose can sometimes get a little bit um, oil well not oily just like a little too shiny than what I'd like so if that was the case then I would definitely use a mattifying primer so I'm trying to like figure my hair out you guys are probably like really annoyed of me touching my hair a bunch but Okay, for foundation, I would go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It would actually be like a really hard decision between this and the Fenty Beauty foundation. I feel like both, both, <laughs> I feel like both last like all day. It just depends on kind of what you're going for. This is gonna give you more of a like dewy finish, whereas the Fenty Beauty foundation will give you more of like a natural matte finish. And I think both would work really well. But obviously like when it comes to your wedding day, you wanna make sure that whatever foundation you're using is like the best kind of foundation for your skin type and for your wants and needs. So do a lot of research on that. And you can always go to Sephora if you're not too keen on foundations or you don't know a lot. You can always go to Sephora, get some samples and test them out within the weeks before your wedding so that you know what you want beforehand. So I'm just going to pump some of this on my face. I said this so many times. So people that are not new to my channel are probably sick of it. But I am not a full coverage queen. I really don't like lots of coverage because it can make my freckles look not as cute, like grayed out and yada yada. But for my wedding day or for your wedding day or for whoever's getting married here, cause it ain't me, cause I'm already married. I would for sure do full coverage just because I just wanna look flawless for all the photos. It's as simple as that, so. And I would use a beauty blender for sure because that's the easiest way for me to blend in my foundation to make it look like airbrushed and flawless. But if you prefer bl brushes, then girl, like, use a brush. But I just prefer beauty blenders because I am not good at foundation brushes. No, no, no. They used to be all I had like four years ago, and but for the last like three years I've been using a beauty blender, so. I always see people who like don't have to put their hair up for when they do makeup. And I get so confused because like, it's probably just my hairline and how straight and stringy my hair is, but like, 
I can't like do my makeup without putting my hair up. Like even this isn't an up enough because look at, it just gets in the way. Like I just, I don't get it. Okay, so as far as foundation goes, I feel like that's full coverage enough. I'm gonna cover up everything else with concealer. You could totally go in with another layer. In fact, I could totally go in with another layer, but I'm just going to stick with concealer. And today I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is my favorite, like, full coverage. Sorry, if you see me looking over here, I got my mirror over here. I can't have it right here because it would block your view, okay? Don't get mad. What was I saying? Concealer? Oh, this is my favorite, like, full coverage glam concealer. I don't use it every day. Okay, there is a cat hair somewhere. I think I got it. Yep, I did. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't use this every day because it's just a little too much. But if you do, if you like full coverage, this is a great everyday concealer because it does look really, really great on the skin. You just gotta know that a little goes a long way. The reason I'm using a little more today is because I'm trying to look flawless because I'm trying to get married, you know? Okay, we are blended, we are covered, we are full coverage. So, now I'm going to take powder, and today I'm using the Too Faced the Born This Way Ethereal Loose Setting Powder. Um, you would think like, oh, maybe this video is sponsored by Too Faced because that's all she's using. Well, I wish. But you guys know how tiny of a YouTuber I am and they have no idea, absolutely no idea who I am, so. There's that. But I'm going to first start by setting my under eyes with this powder. And then I'm gonna do what I always do and set my nose with the powder as well. And then I'm going to spot set any places that I put concealer that have blemishes and all those kinds of things that we wanna keep hidden. And then what I never do, but I would do on my wedding day, and I did this also in my last video, I think. Maybe, I can't remember. I would set my full face with this loose powder and I never do that because I hate that feeling and I hate powder on my face. I just try and use really light powders. But in this case, I would obviously want my makeup lusting all day. So I'm gonna take my time in setting my full face and blend it in to make sure that it really sinks into everywhere. Okay, so now that my face is done, I'm going to do my eyebrows and prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. So I am going to jump off camera really fast and then I will see you guys in just a second so we can start on the eye look. It's really simple, really easy. Anyone can do it and that's why I love it. <laughs> okay, so I have my eyebrows on, my eyes are primed and ready for eyeshadow. I just wanted to say that I prefer my eyebrows to look a little bit more natural and bushy, even though they're really not bushy at all. I just really try and make them look like that. I don't, personally, don't like the look on me of like the super, super structure, structured, super, super snatched brow. But if that's what you like, that's what you should go for. But if you don't like that, then you should go for what you do like. You know what I mean? Like, I like the natural bushy look, so that's what I'm going for. Because I want to look the way that I want to look on my wedding day. And I don't want to look the way anyone else wants me to look. You know? Just, like, make sure you don't conform. Like, do whatever the heck you want. So, now we're going to go into eyeshadow. I'm going to be using today my one of my top five favorite palettes of all time. And that is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This shade here, or this palette here, I'm literally only using like three or four shades from this palette. That's how simple this eye look is. With my eye shape, I don't want anything that is going to make my eye look smaller, and I don't want anything dark. So I'm going to do a very, very easy, very, very flexible, easy, natural, neutral eye look, but that's a little bit glam, you know, just a little bit glam. So I am first going to start by mixing two shades together, together, and together. I'm going to use puree, which is this like kind of neutrally brown right here, and I'm going to mix it with peaches and cream, maybe a little bit of Georgia, so three shades, kind of these two lighter ones and puree, and that is what I'm going to use in my transition today. So we're just going to start blending. I'm going to focus it mainly on the outer part of my transition and then kind of sweep it into the inner like third of the transition, and then I'm going to sweep it onto the outer third of the like the outer V area which is what I always do with my transition shade okay so now we've got that all over the transition a little bit blown out which is exactly what I wanted so I'm gonna drink some water so now that we've got that down I literally am only putting one more shade on the lid and that is the shade Lish luscious I always say luscious but I mean luscious and I will show you this shade it's this like champagne -y, like really light, kind of like rosy shade kind of, but it really just translates to like a champagne-y, peachy, super light metallic shade on the lid. 
This is my favorite eyeshadow shade of all time, like literally. So I'm first just going to start by placing it down on the lid without any setting spray and then once I've got it down, then I'm going to go on top of it with it. I'm going to go on top of it with another layer that has been wetted by setting spray. Okay, so now that we have that shade down, I used um, setting spray with another layer to make it look more metallic. I'm just going to take the original brush I used and sweep through the crease just to make sure everything's blended out really well. I'm not putting any additional product on it right now, just using the brush. And then I am going to matte highlight my brow bone. So I am taking the matte white shade in this called White Peach, just up this top corner right here. And I'm just going to matte highlight the brow bone so that we look lifted and everything. And then just brush through that. And then for the lower lash line, I don't want to go heavy on the lower lash line, so I'm just going to take the same mixture I used in the transition and sweep that across the lower lash line. Okay, so I have that down. Sorry if you can see my cat's tail. <laughs> So I'm gonna take more of Licious, which is that shade we used on the lid, and I'm going to put this just on the inner part of my lower lash line, the inner third area, just to add some brightness there. And then we will highlight the inner corner and the brow bone, like while I'm using my highlighter, because I'm gonna use the highlighter using my face for that. Okay, so the eyes are basically done. Now I'm going to go into the face. I'm gonna start by using contour, and I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. This is the best contour product in my opinion. I've only tried probably maybe like three or four other contour products, but this is still hands down my favorite contour products ever. They do have a medium and a deep shade in case you are curious. It is kind of pricey, it's $40, but I've had this I think for over a year now. And I also don't contour every day, so this is gonna last me forever. But if you're someone who contours every day, I'm not sure how long it would last you, but I think it's worth it because it blends so amazingly. I'm just taking my little small brush from Luxie. This is the 512 small contour brush. And I'm just going to start like blending that into the hollows of my cheeks. I forgot to say that after I did my eyebrows, I added a little bit more freckles. And by add, I don't really mean like I added freckles because I already have them. I just took my brow pencil and dotted the freckles I already have to kind of like bring them out so it doesn't look like I hid them all, you know what I mean? Because I, I like my freckles and I want them to shine forth, you know? So I'm gonna contour my cheekbones, probably a little bit on my forehead and also my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to do some bronzer. You should go with a bronzer that you feel like suits your skin tone pretty well or like suits the vibe that you're going for. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs 102 Tantric Bronzer. This blends out so amazingly on my skin um, and also it's just like kind of a very neutral warm shade and I feel like it kind of goes with almost any look. But if you would, if you prefer more neutral bronzers because this is definitely more on the warm side, they, Marc Jacobs has another bronzer that is from the Coconut Collection. I actually think it's permanent now, but it is the Tan Omega Tantastic. Cause yeah, cause this is the Tantric, so that's the Tantastic. It's a really great bronzer. You don't have to use a $50 bronzer though on your wedding day, just to keep in mind. So if you don't have these, you definitely don't need to. Use whatever bronzer that you feel like works best with you. I just really like this bronzer. If you guys have been around my channel for a long time, you know it's one of my absolute all-time favorite bronzers. So that's why I'm using it. Just taking a little bit of it down my nose, even though we already contoured, just to like blend the colors. Like, you know, we have warmer, warmer everywhere. You know, I don't know, Did that, that didn't make any sense. I forgot my blush, I gotta boot my blush. Ugh, I'll be right back. Okay, so for blush, I am using Milani Luminoso. I feel like this may not be my favorite blush ever of all time, but it's definitely in the top like three or four. But this just makes your cheeks look so healthy and gorgeous and glowy, and I feel like that's just perfect for a wedding day. So I would definitely use this blush. And I feel like face products are the kind of things that would change depending on when you're getting married or like, you know, like five years from now, it could be something totally different. And especially with like the trends and the styles, obviously come and go. But I feel like, you know, five years from now, you might have a completely different, even not even that long, like one year, two year from now, you might have a completely different preference of blush color or like blush style or 
bronzer, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that would definitely change throughout the years because when I got married, I didn't even use blush because I hated blush. So we're three years later and look how different that is. Next is highlighter. I wanted to show you guys what I'm using, but what I think would be a really great option if you don't want to use a super expensive highlighter. Today I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Super Glow Duochrome Highlighter. It's not really duochrome, I don't know why they're called that. In the shade 02 Light Medium. I also brought the Makeup Revolution Soap Palette. This is one of my favorite all-time highlighters ever, and you have so many great options. If I didn't use the Natasha Denona one, I'd probably use this one and mix these two gold shades together. Or my other favorite is like a Becca highlight, because they just look good. They look good all day. They just look stunning, and so those are my favorite highlighters probably. But today, as I said earlier, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona one. This one, I think it's like my favorite because it doesn't have like a really strong unger, unger tone. Unger, unger tone? Undertone, so that when you're looking dead on, you don't see this like stripe of color on my cheek. But when I hit, when it hits the light, you really see that highlight effect. So I think that's really, really great for like photo shoots, weddings, events, all that kind of thing. If you are trying to go with a more like natural, not even natural, but more neutral vibe because it's not going to look like a stripe of color or a stripe of highlight when you're looking dead on. Does that make sense? I don't know. Taking the same highlighter down my nose. Okay, I'm taking the same highlight on a smaller precision brush and highlighting my inner corner with it and I'm hitting the brow bone with it as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more brow bone highlight than I normally do because that's something that would really like not be seen on a day like a wedding day or like photo a day where you're doing photos or videos. And so if you really want it to be seen, you need to make sure that you're adding a good amount. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face because everything is done except for my mascara and lips, obviously. So I'm gonna take my Smashbox primer water and I'm just gonna pat it in. And then if I had it, I would 100% use the Urban Decay, what is it called? All Nighter Setting Spray, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna use the closest thing I have, which is the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. I feel like this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. This is all I have, and it's supposed to be long lasting, and I've liked this so far. So I'm gonna use this to top everything off. Also the mist, like the mister on this is the most fine mister I've ever seen in a drugstore setting spray. So I'm here for that. Okay, I'm going to put on some mascara and then I'll be right back to finish it off with the lip color. Okay, so I've got my mascara on. I just wanted to say that I had lash extensions when I got married and if I were to do it all over again, I would m probably most definitely get lash extensions again because then you don't have to worry about putting on a lash strip or anything like that and your lashes look amazing, and then they look good for a honeymoon or whatever you're doing after that. So, I would probably get them again just for that and then let them fall out again because I love having natural lashes these days, but if I were to get married again, I would definitely get them again. I'm horrific at putting lash strips on, like I seriously can't for the life of me. I tried when I filmed my last video, and I tried for 20 minutes and I couldn't do it, so here we are. So I'm not gonna do it today. <laughs> But just so you know, if I were to do it all over again, I would either wear lash strips or I would wear lash extensions and I would most likely wear lash extensions. So for my lip color today, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Calabasas. This is one of my favorite lipstick colors ever of all time and I'm not a pink person, but this is like, I don't even know. It's almost like a pink with a berry undertone. It doesn't look pink, really. It looks like a very, very light berry. It's really hard to describe. When I got married, I wore a berry shade, and I think I would love to do that again because I loved having a bold lip, but right now I haven't been able to find like the most perfect berry shade that I'm looking for, so I think this would be it. So I have the lip liner here for the same shade, so I'm gonna quickly apply this, and then we'll be done. We'll be done. Okay, so this is the final look. This is exactly what I would wear if I were to get married like today or tomorrow. <laughs> Obviously these things change throughout time, so if I were to do this video again in a year from now or a couple of years from now, some things might have changed. I do love the eye look though, like this has been one of my favorite palettes for a year and a half, almost two years. 
this shade Luscious has been my favorite eyeshadow shade for the same amount of time. So I feel like not a lot would change, but some things would change. Do you guys see what I'm saying about this lip color? It's not like a pink. It's kind of like, I don't even know. It's like impossible to describe. But this is exactly how I would do my makeup if I were to get married. Okay guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. I'd love to have you guys join the family. We are just such a fun family here and we are loving and kind and um, I don't know what else to say and I'm rambling. <laughs> Also, if you want to check out my social medias, I'm pretty active on Instagram and Twitter. They will be on the screen right here. If you want to check them out, please do join the family there as well. And that's the perfect place to look if you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis. But I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.